Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So I wanted to start by doing a review of one of my favourite movies of 2018 which has got to be Venom. I know the other critics didn't really give this movie very good reviews, a lot of people gave it two stars, but from my point of view, I thought it was an excellent movie. I'm a really big fan of Venom the character because he's obviously one of Spider-Man's main rivals and I've always found him really interesting as an anti-hero because he's not only a big rival to Spider-Man but he's kind of got a lot of layers and depth to him. And it's always just been really interesting because you can understand how he has become who he has through Eddie's kind of tragic story. Um, and I've always been really, really excited to kind of see Venom back on the big screen after Sam Raimi's questionable, you know, origin story of him in Spider-Man 3. So this movie hasn't disappointed. I felt it was really, really good. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend going to see it. But let's dissect it in different categories. So let's start with the story. So the story of this movie is Venom's origin story. So it's very different to anything that you've seen in the cartoons, in the comics, in Sam Raimi's movie. Obviously that storyline is about how originally Peter Parker bonds with the Black Symbiote and that grants him brand new powers and the Black Symbiote slowly kind of controls Peter Parker and makes him do things that he wouldn't usually have done and, and then kind of overtakes Peter Parker so to speak. And then, Obviously, Spider-Man and Peter Parker doesn't want this black suit anymore, so they realise that one of the weaknesses of the black symbiote is sound, so they go to the bell tower, he gets rid of the black, black symbiote, and then that symbiote bonds with Eddie Brock, who is a Venom, who is, <laughs> who is Venom, who is a rival to Peter Parker, and then it's kind of like that storyline. This movie is completely different to that. It's actually the ultimate Spider-Man origin storyline of Venom, in which Scientists go to another planet and discover the symbiotes and then bring them to Earth and then are kind of doing experiments on them and it's, and, the, and the black symbiote still bonds with Venom because he's the right host for him and, and it's a really really interesting and fascinating movie actually because you kind of see Eddie's life kind of slowly crumbling in terms of his fiance leaves him, he loses his job, he has money issues, he's got a really difficult neighbour and how you know the Venom symbiote is able to really help him, and the Venom symbiote obviously needs a human to host, uh, needs a human host in order to survive. But they kind of really need each other. So that, that, that from that point of view, the storyline is really fascinating. Um, and obviously, the scientists want the symbiote back. So then there's a massive rivalry between the scientists and um, Venom slash Eddie. And then the kind of movie goes on from there in terms of how Eddie is um, not only kind of seeing how him and Venom can um, live together, but also how he can turn his life around, how he can be kind of like the evil villains of the movie, and kind of, yeah, seeing like where the storyline goes from there. I always find it really interesting as well, because Venom's always been kind of like an anti-hero. Started off as a villain and then became kind of an anti-hero. In this movie, he is kind of like the hero. He is a bit of a edgier hero, so he is still an anti-hero, but it is really interesting kind of seeing how an anti-hero has his own set of villains and how they can kind of um, go about trying to do good with having a bit of an edgier side to them. So it is a very different type of movie, but it's also really enjoyable at the same time. So I personally really, really enjoyed the origin storyline of Venom. So let's talk about the characters and actors of this movie. I'll focus on the main three. So let's start with Tom Hardy, who plays Venom and Eddie first. So Tom actually does a fantastic job in this movie, I mean he's an excellent actor and you can tell that he's really enjoying the role of Eddie Brock and Venom and he really believes in them and he's kind of does, he balances it really well in terms of having the more comedic side and the more dramatic side. Um, the majority of the scenes are obviously involving Tom Hardy and you're kind of with him in his journey and you're kind of feeling what he's feeling and you're you know, experiencing what he's experiencing and he holds the movie really, really well. So from that point of view, he's a fantastic lead actor. Michelle Williams plays the main love interest of Eddie's character and she's okay. She's not amazing, she's not really rubbish, so she's just borderline average. She has a lot of Pepper Potts vibes from the Iron Man franchise. Um, and again, she's okay, just, just yeah, just, just nothing, just nothing amazing, I suppose. And then there's character number three, which is Carlton Brake, played by Riz Ahmed. 
And now I feel like it's fantastic and I'm really, really proud of the fact that there's an Asian in Hollywood and he's doing great and I'm really, really proud of him as a person. I just personally feel like he could have done more in the role. Um, he just wasn't that convincing in, in playing this massive, baddy villain character to Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and Venom. And I don't know, at points he just didn't, he just couldn't really believe it. Um, and he was, he was average, he was okay, he played like, he played the, you know, the fact that you don't like this character and you kind of disagree with a lot of things that he's doing and you're a lot more on Eddie's and Venom's side, but I just felt like there was just something missing. And I think it is a bit of a trend in all superhero movies in terms of the villains aren't really that memorable and they're not really that um, well written or played. And I feel like this movie probably suffered from that a little bit. Um, and I just wanted more from, from the character and the actor, but, but on the whole, um, the characters and the actors of the movie are really, really good. I feel like some of them could have done a bit more, uh, but overall they, they, all, um, they all made it a good movie overall. From a visuals point of view, the movie is amazing. All of the symbiotes look really, really good. While the Riot symbiote is transferring himself from different hosts, that's really, really cool. Seeing Eddie Brock turn into Venom for the first time is, is you know, just amazing. All of the action sequences are really, really good. Um, the car chases in particular are a delight to watch. And you can tell that the budget for the movie is really, really high. And, you know, the visual effects don't let the movie down in that respect. So, it's a thumbs up from me in terms of the visual department. As far as other superhero movies go, this movie was fantastic. I mean, it's a shame that it's not in the MCU yet, <laughs> and it's a shame that Spider-Man wasn't in it, but despite both of those things, the movie is really, really good. Um, and as far as origin movies go, you know, I'm so glad that Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't a third iteration of Spider-Man's origin story. We're kind of sick of seeing origin stories, but this one, despite all of the, that fact, you know, this one is really, really good. It's a different take on Venom, which is really, really cool to see as well. Um, and yeah, overall I would say that the movie is really good comparatively to other superhero movies and in particular other origin movies as well. Overall I'd say this movie is excellent. It's a lot better than the other critics are giving it credit for and it's a lot better than I personally thought it would be. It's a shame that it's in its own distinct universe that isn't part of the MCU but despite that it is a really really good movie. I would recommend buying it on Blu-ray, DVD and watching it again and it gets a solid 8 out of 10 from me. And there you have it. Thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Venom review. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.